All right, so now we're going to do the baseboards, bringing it down to the floor. So this part's going to be green. Obviously, this part's going to be white or the tea stain color. Uh, this is typical what I do. You got to get dirty. You got to get on the floor. I said Indian style. It seems more comfortable to me. And so I've got a point here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start that point here and slide back. So that goes there. And there were some different nail holes and speaker, you know, for speaker wires or whatever that was uh, here. I just kind of tape over them and then I'll caulk over them and you'll have a little bit of a bump there, but not much. All right, so I'm gonna have to have a point angling that way. So I'm gonna pull my tape this way and I'll pull it that way so it'll angle. And then I'll butt that up there, which makes it look absolutely perfect. And even though my tape, like I said, might not be straight to the common eye, it is. I need just a hair more tape right there. All right, now we've got our perfect corner. Now the same goes for the floors. Tape off the floor. Now I come out just hair outside of the line. So we do end up caulking and painting on the hardwood floors. But you'll see by the finished look on what it's going to do. So by tearing this, you know, I was proactive and thought, I'm not just kidding, actually. I just uh, tore this way and I was kind of lucky. So I got my point already for this side. If I don't mess it up. And then we put that tape right in there. Perfect point. So although I'm following the line, you can still see the darkness in there. You still see a little bit of wood. Uh, so we'll caulk over that, immediately paint it, pull the tape. So since we got our materials here, this is what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and caulk this off. Okay. Perfect. Come back. Rub it in with our finger. That's one of the little metals for a speaker wire holder. And once again, like that, while the paint is still wet, immediately come back. Oh, while the caulk is still wet with my paint. And we'll paint this. Now, if you put, if you use just way too much paint and then you pull the tape, you will have some drip downs. Happens to me too, even though I've been doing this uh, for a lot of years, but whenever that happens, don't try to cut the, after it dries, the latex drip off because it's going to pull your white paint too. So you just want to kind of uh, touch it up and paint white right back over it. All right, so we're about done with the top. But painting is the least expensive, best way to improve the value of your home. That's why this is such an important step. And a sloppy paint job is very easy to spot out. So we're gonna pull that, look at that, beautiful. And here, perfect line. It's that easy.